Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a return worth having. Immature people that come to our land to come as a student are often wanting to play a game because maybe they're bored or maybe they're just ashamed or maybe they're just lame. You see, I feel that I have been put in some sort of a game with the Catholic Church. And why I say that is because Catholics at this age demographic of campus living pretty much dress all the same. There's a pattern to the way the boys look and behave. There's also a pattern to the way that the young women seem to dress and misbehave. In life, they're maybe being tested by their pastor or their priest of can they get away with a lie. The attitudes of the liars, though, is I can do whatever the hell I want. And today I've discovered that a little white book that I kept for myself with information about people who helped me and other things is now gone. I'm pretty sure I didn't drop it. I'm pretty good about how I carry things. I didn't move that book into anything other than a simple bag. And I'm pretty sure about that. I haven't moved it elsewhere, but it's now missing from my pack. The only time I went out of my way, away from my things, was when I went into a Target today. I stepped away from my bags to feed some birds today, but I don't remember hearing one thing drop. Now, what would you do if someone dropped something in front of you or near you? What are you supposed to do? Just about any human being knows the answer to that. You're supposed to pick it up and say, Sir, I believe you've dropped this and then you confirm with them whether or not they did, especially if you saw them drop it. But when you put your hands in someone's bag to take something out because you want to win something with your friends or play a game in some way, your ends will be in motherfucking jail. Pickpocketing is illegal. Stealing property is illegal. Fucking yourself in front of somebody is also illegal because it's an illness of you. What I mean is you are a moron if you think the federal government doesn't know who you are and what you do on your cell phone. Cell phone companies are run by internet networks and telecommunication networks. And the federal government is not necessarily looking for stereotypical people, but they are paying attention to chatter in all kinds of languages and all kinds of people. You never know who a monster is until you meet them. A lot of times the monsters might have puppies and be really sweet, but in the end they're monsters underneath.